what are we gonna do today? Well, the first thing is to try and add some ventilation to our new shipping container. I have this vent that I'm going to cut a hole in the door of our shipping container and find a way to mount this. I'm sure this is gonna be a learning experience as we go, but uh, we're gonna grab some tools and then head up to the shipping container and see what type of damage we can do. Shipping container, two doors, vent. We'll go in a door. Question is which door? Now, if you look at these things, one door always opens first, right? We always open the one, the right door first, and then the left door. There may be times that I go in and out that I only open up one door. So I think I'm gonna put the vent in the left door. If I open up the right door, just to get in and out, right? I mean, we don't have a lot of room in our cabin, so I went shopping yesterday. I just threw toilet paper and paper towels up here. Um, then if I put up the right door to come get a roll of toilet paper, I still have the vent plus the open door. Does it matter? I don't know. But since we're installing it from scratch, why not? minor issue we can work with it the bottom the left silver post the rod that goes up and down um, my vent the overlap piece is going to hit that bolt not the top big double bolt but the the single bolt one so we're going to raise the vent a little higher than i intended to which means i have to deal with that lip but i can silicone it and then we'll find some way to have water run off, go around the edge or something. One step at a time. Okay, fresh cutoff wheel, fresh battery. I figure we're gonna start on the top hole so we'll have the blade, the shield angled that way. And then we're gonna work on the left side. This will be very noisy. So we will get our earplugs out. It'll also be very sparky. So we will put our safety glasses on.
Okay, as for my Milwaukee fuel, how did it do cutting that shipping container metal? Not sure how good these particular Harbor Freight cutoff wheels are, but that's what I used. I started with one until you see it got caught and then had a issue. So I started with a brand new one of those so you can see how much of the chop saw wore off. And then I swapped to a second one. And this is, I mean, get a good gauge. It didn't use much of the second one. It's worn. I don't think I would use this one again just to be safe. The Milwaukee fuel itself, I started with this red lithium high output, three amp, and it wore through this one pretty quick. I mean, I don't know if we can get lights on there, but this one got to the point where it wouldn't run pretty quick. Then I went to this high demand. This is actually off my uh, seven and a half inch, I think, or seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Brought it just as backup. I thought this one was going to make it, but guess not. And then this one, I could feel that it, this high demand actually felt like there was more power than the high output. That the just sounded stronger. But uh, it got nice and toasty warm. But uh, it worked well. It cut. I'm sure other cutoff saws would uh, do just as well. But this is what I have. I try to stick to one brand battery or two or three. I try to stick to a limited number of batteries. But uh, this one worked well. It's been a few days, my time, since looking at this shipping container uh, vent. Went to town, got the correct bolts. So let's see about taking this vent. Getting some holes drilled through the vent. Get them marked up there on the build uh, door and drill them through as well.
But essentially, my next idea, you see how it's a big quarter inch hardware cloth. I'm gonna take some screen, put it over top of that, and I'm still leaning towards the big zip tie to hold it in place. I think that's gonna be the easiest and cleanest. And then once it's tightened up and cinched up against, we'll put some silicone, do some clear so it doesn't show, put some silicone around the outside edge to seal it up and keep bugs out and rain out. But all in all, this shipping container, move you over, saw the first door close. The shipping container, the doors close very easy. I guess that's what you get for a one tripper, spending time making it level. Basically nothing compared to that shipping container over there is always fun to open and close. You got to work it a little bit, but that was only wind and water tight. This was a one tripper. Rain will wash off my oil marks for keeping the drill bits uh, cool.